Kling AI just became available to pretty much everyone. Now, this was all the rage a couple of weeks ago when it came out as a competitor to Sora. Remember Sora? OpenAI's text-to-video model, which is quite amazing. And Kling was a direct competitor. Now, unfortunately, it was only available for those with a Chinese phone number because that's how you needed to be verified. But it just became available to everyone. Let's go and check it out. So I'll leave a link to, the, to where you can make an account in the video below. And I gotta be honest, I'm pretty impressed with the output. The fact that now this is available to everyone is pretty good. You can see video examples by going into home, uh, much like, like Mid Journey, where you can see all the images that other people have created. And this is a simple prompt, cute cat walking amongst flowers, backlit. That's pretty good, I think. Uh, and then let's take a look at another one. Carefully pour the milk into the cup. <laughs> That's kind of good, but simulating liquids, pretty tricky, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Uh, I like this one, nice and easy. The horse lowers its head in the grass as the wind blows, really good. I am pretty impressed. Let's see one of a human. Um, often that's pretty difficult. Look at that. I think that you could already use for an ad, right? Which is gonna change the whole landscape of ads and the video industry as a whole, I think. I'm not an expert, but just imagine. Now, I've tried it with a couple of my own prompts. Uh, if you go to uh, my assets, you can see what I've done. I've done a couple of things here. So I've done a prompt that says a pink horse running through a white sandy beach. The horse has flames coming out of its hooves and it's kind of there. I mean, you know, the flames are coming out of the tail, but regardless, <laughs> for a quick horrible prompt, I think this is pretty good. At the moment, you get five seconds of... Um, the length for the video and you can continue to edit it. I think it's pretty good. It also has some image making capabilities. So the prompt when I created this image was a horse running through the Patagonia in Chile. In the background, we see a condor flying through the rainbow. Now, that's not a condor, it's an eagle, but regardless, I think the image is still pretty good. You can probably use similar um, prompting components like you can do in Mid Journey, adding camera and lenses, and that would increase it. But to be honest, it's gotten everything pretty right. Even if we see variations here, uh, I mean, that eagle's looking a bit funky, but the horse looks fantastic. Uh, and we can even go and we can kind of download this and then animate this if we want to. The other functionality that it has is bringing to life your own images that you already have. For example, I downloaded this uh, image of this good looking parrot uh, from uh, from Mid Journey, funnily enough, and it's brought it to life. I mean, that's pretty unreal. And the original image is this one here. So that's the image and that's the bird coming to life with a very, very simple prompt. It's kind of amazing. Uh, at the moment, there's not much other things you can do. I think they've kept it very basic in terms of the functionalities that you can do, but you can create pretty incredible videos. Uh, although they're not very long, you can't quite use the 10 second feature, the high performing, the high quality feature that's launching soon, the length feature that's kind of only supported with 10 seconds, but you can't do the everything else. You can change the frame ratio. Let's do the brown, the one to one. Let's test it out here. Let's do the zoom and going into, so let's see if it gets this, uh, a person coding in their computer, the scene is dark and scary, the camera is zooming into the computer screen. Uh, this, gear, this is gonna use 10 credits. Uh, you originally get about 65 credits to try it out for free, which is pretty incredible, and the credits will expire within 24 hours. I don't know if that's, uh, they'll renew after 24 hours, I don't think so, but who knows, I will let you know the next time I log into this. So I'm gonna pause the video and come back when this video is completed of our simple prompt. So our video is now complete. The person coding the computer, the dark, the scene is dark and scary. The camera is zooming into the computer. So we didn't quite get the zooming aspect of it. I wonder if I need to do something else and zoom and reset it. Yeah, I mean, it's still not too bad. The fact that we've gotten to pretty good text to image features is kind of amazing. Um, I think once we get the availability, the capability to do the high quality, high performance and all that stuff, which should be coming out soon, will be quite amazing. So you can also obviously create AI images with the same app. Let's see 
how we go with this to create an image. So you can see the image style of Kling AI that's gonna use 0 0.80 credits and they give you again like 64 credits. So not too bad. Yeah, it's gonna reset or expire within 24 hours. Uh, let's go 16 by nine. You can place a reference image there as well to get the theme of it. But I'm just gonna go like this, go generate. And that should be a lot quicker than the video already started generating it. And that's not bad. We see here neon lights, background, the person coding with a hoodie, pretty spot on, uh, apart from that, with the hairs coming out. But I like it. The really interesting thing is that then you can select, for example, this guy here, and you can bring it to life. Which you just have to, I think they need to work on their UX a little bit. Uh, this clearly, I've got to sign in when I'm already signed in. And it's not quite working. So clearly some bugs to figure out. Maybe it's my internet. But what you can do as well is just download it. The image itself, it does always have a watermark, which is a bit annoying, but that's all right. So with the image downloaded, I can go back to the AI videos and I can go image to video. And then I can drop the uh, newly, created, newly created image in there and bring that to life using 10 credits, which is pretty incredible. Um, I think this is interesting that Kling came out to everyone else before Sora. I know Sora is still kind of really testing the waters, but I mean, this stuff is pretty good. Check out this other things. Go through it, check out the video making capabilities of it. I uh, do remind you, this is a Chinese application. I know a lot of people are a bit funky about that, but you know, whatever. Uh, but the, I mean, look at this dog swimming water ripple spreading. That is pretty full on. Imagine the capabilities of creating video ads for this, um, particularly when these days the cuts are very quickly. I don't think many people are going to realize that ads from now on are going to be mostly generated with AI. Uh, yeah, pretty incredible stuff. Check it out. I'll leave a video to the link in the description below. If you want to learn more about how to use these AI tools to rank your website number one on Google to do pretty cool and funky AI powered automations, you can also check out our community. Um, they are always the first ones to find out about these news when I do as well. Uh, and you also get um, the chance to meet up with us uh, twice a week where we help people in their journey through how to use these AI tools for general marketing, search engine optimization and automations. If you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link to the description below. Uh, but if not, that's all right. Just keep watching these videos. And uh, if you like this video, give me a like and a subscribe. Cheers.